More on the story, TRT World's producer, Abdul Vihab Iopi, joins us now in the studio. So just bring us up to speed, what's the latest in terms of results so far and voter turnout? Uh, well, so far uh, what we know is that the turnout was about uh, 39%, um, far from uh, reaching 50% needed to be valid the whole process. And uh, of more than 50% counted of votes, we have a tough race uh, uh, between the two main uh, pretenders, uh, like uh, the far right, uh, uh, Gordana Slyanovska, uh, who is like about 38%, uh, and uh, the government backed uh, candidate uh, and pro European Union, pro the name change, uh, who is uh, Stevo Pandarovsky, who slightly leads with about 41.5%, uh, and the third one is the independent candidate, uh, Blerim Reka, uh, with about 15%. So uh, this uh, means that we will have uh, the second round after two weeks uh, between the uh, first two candidates. And uh, the turnout needs to be 40% in, or in order to uh, entire uh, elec election to be uh, valid. So when it comes to the low turnout and uh, reasons, I can mention here uh, only two reasons mainly. The first one is because uh, uh, people are fed up and people and they don't believe that uh, any of uh, those candidates may, will make change. And the second one is uh, the massive uh, exodus of uh, immigration of people from Macedonia into the uh, Europe last 10 years. Uh, so all of them, uh, uh, like uh, all of them uh, caused this uh, low turn uh, out. OK, so another round of voting in two weeks then. Thank you for that. That is TRT World's producer, Abdul Vihad Iyubi.